Hey, this is Rick. Now, I've got a subject that's kind of unpleasant. How's it going? Well, I've been told that I have to have a colonography. I had a colonoscopy, and that was kind of inclusive for what's going on with me right now. I use stuff called Suprep. Now, Suprep had a nasty taste. Um, you could get it down. But it had even a nastier price. It was like $80. And that was with a copay on my insurance. So I opted to go this route. Now this is called PEG3350 and electrolytes for oil solution. And that is for your prep also. Now this is your generic form. This only costs like $10 with my copay. So there's a big difference. But I have to admit, this stuff is absolutely nasty. What you do is you, it already has the powder form in there. And then you fill it up to this line right here. So this is close to a gallon of liquid. So you're going to fill it up with water. Now I tried getting this down. You're supposed to take 8 ounces of this stuff every 15 minutes and it approximately takes about three hours to get it down your system. It's nasty. So I've read all kinds of stuff on the internet and I'm trying to make it better. I tried putting a little bit of apple juice in there. It'll work. And now I'm trying something completely different. Because of your liquid diet, they say that you can have, you got it, jello. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the packet and I'm pouring a little of that in there with my eight ounces just to flavor it a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and try to stomach that and see if that works out because if you're somebody that doesn't like things that taste extremely nasty you have a, a gag reflex or you can't seem to drink it down I tried drinking it down in parts I've heard on online you can try to drink it down like four ounces at a time and drink it straight and then I've heard hold your nose I've heard use you know a straw so I'm going to try this. Now, it's supposed to start working within an hour to two, I guess, before it starts to work. And then it's supposed to start cleaning out your bowels, of course, by you eliminating. We'll leave it at that. I'm going to be your guinea pig on this one. And I'm going to try this jello packet in there. And hopefully it doesn't dilute it enough to where it doesn't start working. If it does, this is going to be great because... This stuff can be nasty. So I will update this as I'm doing it and we'll see how it works out. Okay, well, hooray for me. I got it done. Here we are, empty container. Now that took me four hours to get that down. I tried everything. This stuff is absolutely disgusting. This seems to be the go-to that seemed to work for me. I cut it with this. Apple juice and ginger ale it can be any type of ginger ale or, or clear soda. The jello mixture worked for a little bit, but wasn't that great. I would suggest going this way. Now, once you start getting this stuff down within a couple hours, let the fun begin. But that's my experience with it. Uh, let me know how you guys made out. I've heard some other things now since I've been researching this. If I ever have to do this again, I might just try straight Miralax or Dolcolax. Now, back to what I had to do. This is not only the way you prep for a colonoscopy, but this is also for what they call a colonography CT. You have to cleanse yourself out and have a CT where they put you in the machine and they, you have to drink a dye and then they check virtually your colon so I had to take this stuff which is called Tagatol three bottles of it and how that works is you'll have one at breakfast one at lunch and one at dinner and you drink those straight this little bottle here is called MD Gastroview and I'm not even gonna pronounce that <laughs> you get to drink this baby here with 16 ounces of your favorite beverage 
clear beverage, <laughs> would you be apple juice or some kind of carbonated uh, clear soda? That will be right before you go to bed. You mix that. Now, back to the prep stuff. From what I've figured out now, and then we're going to get a little nasty here, but as you're evacuating yourself, this is what I would do. It's very uncomfortable. You're going to have your stomach gurgle, make all kinds of noises. It's going to blow up with gas. Your stomach is going to become extended from the prep. What I suggest, you're going to want to run into the bathroom right away when it starts. And I would suggest that you wait a little bit, let it build up. And then when you get in there, it sounds nasty, but push it out. Don't let it trickle because you want to clean that out. Figure it like a garden hose or a fire hose. The more pressure that you push through, it's going to expel the waste and the impurities that are in your stool the solid portions or if you ate a heavy meal before you started your prep, which unfortunately I did this time. Um, I didn't realize I was eating some vegetables and it had some corn in there and corn is not really something you want to have to deal with going into your prep 24 hours ahead of schedule here. So I would suggest eating lighter meals when you go to do your prep, if you have to do your prep. Make sure you get a couple days and start some lighter meals, you know, and look on online because I'm not a doctor, but you can figure out some meals that are lighter that aren't going to stay with you as long that will pass through your system easier and that makes it easier on your prep. So I hope this information I gave you helps. Um, it stinks. I mean, I'm almost 50. I had to go through this stuff. This is actually the second time I did the colonography. This time I'm going for, and I had a colonoscopy a couple weeks ago, and they're checking for some further things. So this is what you have to do. So uh, thanks for watching. I know I look a mess. This has been an all-day process, and it wears you out, no doubt. <laughs> Please subscribe.